Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at everything we say? G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles. Alright, so we're back. I'm sorry I've had a few days off guys with work and my internet issue, but we are back and I am sorry I didn't go live, but as I said, we had an internet issue and I've only just got it sorted out today, so I'm back smashing out a video for you guys. And so I'm going to answer a question today and it's a pretty good question. I actually get asked it a fair bit and the question is... So if I have problems with somebody in prison, like if I'm on my way to prison and I have got a lot of money on the outside, can I pay for protection for people to protect me on the inside? All right. Well, that's a very good question and let's get into it. So 100% people are going to be saying, yep, if you've got issues, um, I can protect you. If you if you pay me, I can protect you. And another way is like, so um, a lot of people get on the bupe, get on the suboxone before they come to prison, just so they've got a bit of um, a bit of lead way with people. Like say, all right, I can give you X amount of bupe every day if you make sure people aren't taking me out to get my bupe, you know. And lots of people are going to be saying, yep, bloody oath, I can do that for you, mate. I can do that. But here's the absolute 100% truth about that, right? So say, for instance, if I said to you, all right, mate, I am going to protect you. You put $1,000 in my bank account every month and I am going to make sure you don't get got, right? So here's the truth. I'm an Aussie and I've made made note of this on other videos that everyone kicks it with their own crew, you know. Victorian prison is getting very race-related and segregated like that. It's not like New South Wales or Queensland where they do segregate by race, but in the yard, everyone segregates their self by race. And here's the truth. So say, for instance, if the Asians come up to me and they said, right, that guy who you're protecting is a snitch. He lagged on my coal fender, rah, rah, rah. We are going to take him out. I'm just going to go, yep, no worries, boom, take him out. And there is absolutely no way that anybody is going to be getting involved in your bullshit from the outside, even though they tell you 100%. But no one is going to say, for instance, if you are an Aussie as well and another race says they are going to take you out, Mate, there is not going to be a race war started over you. I can promise that right now. So people will tell you, yep, I can protect you. I can make sure you don't get got this and that. But the 100% truth is all they're doing is taking your fucking money and, and, and watching you be a goose, basically. So the best thing you can do is go in there, stand on your 10 toes and be a man and face whatever's coming your way. Um, Absolutely, you might get stabbed, you might get killed, but this is the life that you guys are playing and you need to understand this. You can't be a gangster on the outside, be a hard person on the outside, pull guns on people, pull knives on people, this and that, and then when you get to jail, you shit the gear and become a become a peasant. It just doesn't work like that and I see it so much and, and you know, the, Chopper said it in his movie, 100% the best, better than any way could describe it. And that is, you are just another bare bum in the shower. And that's the truth. It doesn't matter who you've shot, who you've killed, who you've stabbed, who you've got on the outside, because this is a different world. And you will get taken out like that if you run around the yard thinking that you are gangster number one, because I can promise you people hate that. And yeah, the truth is, so, you know, the answer to that question is, can you pay for protection? Yeah, you can pay for protection, but that is only going to get you so far. Um, I, I don't know of many people, many races that are going to put their name, their their race, their crew on the line, um, especially if you are a snitch, you know what I mean? And you see it a lot these days. You really do see it a lot. People that are on the bupe, they'll say, right, oh, that guy is a snitch but we'll give him a pass because he is on the bupe, you know? And um, yeah, it's just it's just crazy. And, you know, the best thing I can say about that is don't fall into it. Don't let people think that you can pay for protection and they are going to help you and save you because I can promise you right now when shit gets heavy and shit gets hard, they are going to turn the other way and leave you by yourself to, 
stand on your own feet and they're going to watch you fail. So, you know, as much as I hate to say this, I don't agree with violence, this and that, but the best way to stop violence is with violence. And it's horrible, but that is the way that prison works. Sometimes people only understand the same shit what they're dealing out. So the best way to to attack that situation is with extreme violence. And so if I knew that X amount of people wanted to get me in the yard, I'm just going to take them out one by one. And, you know, I hate saying all this shit because it makes me sound like I'm trying to be a tough guy, this and that. And you guys know I'm not. But this is exactly what prison is like, and I'm not the only one that thinks like this. And yeah, 100%. Um, you can pay for protection, but it is not going to save your life like you think. People are just going to take your money, and that they are going to watch you fail when it comes to the to the crack, you know. And um, 100%, they will they will step to the side and watch a whole race take you out and not get involved in it at all. So. Yeah, you know, that that's the answer to the question. But the, the second little offset answer is to stand on your own two feet, be a man and and stand stand up for yourself. Because if you don't, it's just going to happen every day. People are going to stand by and watch that you're letting people get it over you. And I can promise you it's just going to keep coming, keep coming like a snowball effect and it will just get worse and worse and worse. The best thing you can do is attack violence with violence. Don't expect somebody else to fix your problem because you fucked up on the outside because that is not how it works. All right, guys, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. Don't forget, guys, if you chuck a question down there, I'll try and answer the question with a video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell. That way you'll never miss any of my clips, and I will see you guys in the next vid. Don't do drugs, jail, and crime. It is shit, fake life. I am Ciao. also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.